you have trouble tying knots? Just a little. Do your prisoners of war keep escaping? Why do you think I'm so tired? Then you should try the new invention from Raven Forge Industries. That better work. I'll try out you first. Let's go take a look. Come with me. First thing we need to do is gather up the tools and materials we need. Um, so I used a, a tape measure, knife, velcro, glue, uh, some paint brushes, uh, a saw, putty knife, uh, some wire, and the pink insulation foam. I got the glue, which is a PL Premium, and the insulation foam from Home Depot, but it can be found at any big box builder store. Uh, the foam is about an inch and a half thick. Uh, which I figure was a good size to work with. Um, the PML, PL Premium is a construction grade adhesive and it's designed to stick this type of foam to walls and other surfaces um, so it won't eat through or destroy the foam um, like contact cement or hot glue might. I laid out the cut lines on the foam using a permanent marker and a straight edge and the measuring tape. Uh, after those were in place, uh, I marked out the circles and I wasn't overly precise about the circles since we're going to cut them out rough anyway which will help with the, uh, the final look. I'm going to leave a link in the uh, description uh, to a download for the PDF that has the full measurements on it. Um, it looks like what's pictured up here in the top corner. Now I just cut it out following the lines I already drew. Uh, this is where the saw came in handy, but if you have an X-Acto knife, uh, it'll work as well and leave a lot cleaner edge in the end.
After it was all cut out, I used the marker again, again to draw wavy lines on the faces of the foam, and then used that as a guide to cut out short V grooves in the foam that will help simulate the wood grain effect. For some bonus points, I drew a quick pattern of a lock and some hinges and cut these out of the same pink insulation foam. I used some craft foam to make the screw head details. I stuck these down to the main piece uh, using the PL Premium and I cut some small pieces of wire to help lock them in place. Uh, so I just stuck them on the back side of the, uh, the pieces and then stuck them down into the foam with the, with the glue.
next step will seal the foam. Uh, the paint I'm using lift is left over from giving my drab apartment some color. Uh, it's a latex paint. It's very important uh, that it's latex because it, uh, other paints will damage the foam uh, by eating into it. Uh, <coughs> cheap, ca cheap paint can be found at any uh, home improvement store. Uh, if you want to save on a step later, you can have them uh, tinted brown. Uh, if you're not picky about the color for this part, uh, like me, then uh, have a look at the mist tint section. That paint is always marked down. After I applied about three coats of the house paint, I went back over it with the brown ac acrylic I picked up at the dollar store.
Next, I mixed uh, the black acrylic paint with some water to thin it down. Uh, I made sure it was nice and runny. And I spread it on with a foam brush, working it into the sections and wiping it back off with a paper towel.
After leaving all the paint to dry for a little while, I was able to add the Velcro to it. Uh, the stuff I have here has a self-adhesive back. Uh, this is where I wish I would actually sanded these edges down smooth. It would have helped grip the adhesive better. And so I just put the uh, Velcro down in each of the uh, flat sections. Uh, and this will help keep it locked around your uh, victim without uh, without it actually being locked together, making it uh, LARP safe or uh, you know, good for a movie prop or what have you. Alright everyone, so that's it. Uh, you can see how the black wash over the brown paint really helps to sell the wood grain effect. I also painted the hinge and the lock in gold and used the black wash over them as well to, to weather them uh, and give that same effect that it's been out, out in the elements and, and used. Thanks everyone for following along as we built this LARP safe prop. Uh, if you like this build, hit the like button below and uh, subscribe for more content in the future. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you have any other questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you.